Well, I think we can learn from looking at the brain that we're being taught by our culture to use only part of it and the part that actually sees less, sees things in a narrow sense, and that we really can draw on other parts of our brain to see more widely and see more intelligently. Well, first of all, the kind of thinking associated with the left hemisphere, which is the kind of thinking that's preferred in our culture at the moment, is relatively simple. Um, it has that advantage. Also, people using their left hemisphere have little sense of their failings, and so it doesn't see the shortfall and the shortcomings. It tends to be in denial of that. And I suppose another reason is that we've sort of embodied um, what I think of as the, the way the world looks to the left hemisphere in the streets, the buildings, the cities around us and on the screens that we spend our lives staring at. Well, I think it's very serious. I think we risk actually not just despoliation of the environment, um, social uh, unrest and disintegration ultimately, um, but also mediocrity in what we do in, in, in science, in the arts and in life generally. Um, what do we do about it? The trouble with this is that there isn't a short-term fix that will yield measurable results in a very short space of time. We have to start thinking both in longer term and broader. And I would love to say that we could do it differently, but actually we can't. There isn't an easier alternative. We have to accept now things that will be long-term and largely qualitative differences. They will make the difference of whether we survive or not.